In this video, let's explore the secrets of top image quality. This is Guo Kun, a member of Phase One East China. He works with me this time. Hello, 大家好，我是 Phase 华东的郭坤。If we use the price of a car as our reference, the digital bag is the Rolls Royce of the camera world. Of course, its actual selling price is much lower than Rolls Royce. Phase One 100 million pixel digital bag. The model is IQ 4150. Made in Denmark, it's a civilian camera with the highest pixel ever built. When it mounted on the metal frame, customized by the Campbell Company of Netherlands, and working with the Rod and Stock high-resolution digital lenses made in Germany, it's a symbol of the world's top photography equipment. It's the ultimate dream of all equipment enthusiasts. This is the camera we are now facing, Phase One XT. IQ4150 uses the CMOS produced by Sony. The area is 53.7 mm x 40.4 mm. Let's do a calculation. Wow, its area is 2.5 times as larger as 1354 frames. No stitching, no pixel shifting. Get a pixel of 14204 times 10652 photo in just one shot. Oh wait. Did you realize that the 2.5 times is amazing? Look, it happens that the Sony Alpha 704 has 61 million pixels. What does this remind you of? That's right. There are some mysterious connection between their CMOS. They are from the same manufacturer. They are all back illuminated CMOS. They have the same pixel density. The physical size of each pixel is about 3.8 mm. What does it mean? It means when we shoot with a lens of the same focal length, image produced by IQ4150 and F704, viewing details at 100%, they are the same size. Now let's look at this Rodenstock HRW 32mm lens. It's almost the most expensive mass-produced wide-angle lens ever built. For its amazing high resolution, and it has a 90 mm diameter image field. Therefore, even in front of a CMOS as large as 54 mm x 40 mm, this expensive 32 mm lens can still easily cover and provide a shift range of more than 30 mm. In order to match this giant, 135 system tried its best. They have two powerful warriors, Sony FE24 to 70mm f2.8 GM2 and FE12 to 24 f2.8 GM. They were successfully cooperate with the F704. Let's see their performance. How about it? Are you surprised? They are so similar, but you can't tell the difference without the subtitles. Then look at the whole picture. They are both 32mm lenses, but photos taken by IQ4150 has obviously wider viewing angle than that of Alpha 704. Why it happens? The CMOS area of IQ4150 is 2.5 times as larger as F704. It captures more scenes. In order to make F704's photo as wide as it, without changing the shooting distance, we must choose a lens with a shorter focal length. After some calculations, now we know. When the 32mm lens works on Phase 1 IQ4150, the angle of view is about equal to the 21mm of the 135 system. Please work on the Sony FE12-24 f2.8 GM. 
reset focal length to around 21 mm. Look, the angle of view in the diagonal direction is now the same as the face one. Let's zoom in to 100% to compare the details. How about that? They have same angle of view, but when you zoom in to 100% to see the details, obviously, the details of IQ4150 are bigger and clearer. Why? When the object distance is fixed, the 21mm lens has a much wider angle of view than the 32mm lens. The shorter the focal length, the wider the viewing angle. The wider the viewing angle, the smaller the image. The smaller the image, the fewer pixels are involved and lower the details. That's why the image quality of the 135 system is worse than top medium format system. Even one day, the CMOS of the 135 cameras also has 150 million pixels. This gap will still exist. The smaller physics size of each pixel will bring about a series of problems such as signal-to-noise ratio degradation. In fact, Chinese photographers have got a conclusion for a long time. They said, big size film always beats smaller size. Now we know a truth. There's actually no essential difference between F704 and IQ4150. Their senses are so similar that maybe they were from the same warfare in the same factory, but packaged in different size. One area is 2.5 times larger than the other. In order to get a photo with the same perspective, the F704 must use a lens with a shorter focal length. And the total pixels of F704 are only two fifths of IQ4150. So, it loses. Fortunately, although not everyone can afford the face one, Sony G Master Series lens and F704 camera are good enough. They can handle most tasks and create values for us. But I still have a dream that one day there will be a Face1 XT in my camera bag. <laughs>